All right, test number two. This is a sunny day. 79% charged. Let's see if it goes up. 80% charged. Hey, it's working. Holy crap, it works. So this is with 200 watt solar panels, 81% charged. Yes! <laughs> and the only charge controller that I'm using is this MPPT Genesun uh, GV Boost charge controller. It's a 43.2 volt uh, voltage setting, I think. And the solar panels are just wired directly to it. So there's no, there's no external battery. Uh, you could fit your solar panels in a backpack if you wanted to. And as long as you've got direct sunlight, you can charge up your boosted board with this setup. Extremely lightweight. No batteries to worry about other than the battery on the boosted board itself. This is really cool. I am really excited about this. I can't believe my experiment worked. Yes! Ninety percent! Sweet! All right, now, <clears throat> I'm curious what kind of power is coming in here, so uh, I'm going to put a um, watt meter in line before the charge controller. This is a, a, a hobby RC watt meter, and this will tell us what kind of power is flowing through these solar cables. So it looks like we're drawing uh, 138 watts, 139 watts right now. Before this gets 100% charged up, I would like to test this with less power. Let's see what a single 100 watt solar panel will do. Let's see if it'll charge. Okay, here we are uh, with a single solar panel in direct sunlight, other than when I shade it. Let's plug it in, see what happens here. So we've got 65 watts. Says 95%. The charge controller appears to be charging. So let's see if that 95% rises. Looks like the red light is solid red. I think this is charging. Yeah, 96%. There we go. Okay, so a single 100 watt solar panel in direct sunlight works. Again, this is the setup here. I'm just using a single a uh, flat 100 watt thin type solar panel and that works. Let's go with a 50 watt. Let's see if a 50 watt will do the job. All right, let's try this with a 50 watt panel. Drawing 32.9 watts. We're at 96% and we're getting the fast blink this time, which makes me think that this 50 watt panel is not going to cut it. We'll watch this for a couple of minutes and see if it rises from 96 to 97 percent. I do see a solid light on the board though, so it may actually be charging. 32.6, 32.9 watts. I don't know if it's easier for you to see this phone when my hand is shading it or not. 97 percent. There we go. So you can even use a 50 watt panel. Now, clearly, the amount of power that you put into the board is going to determine how fast it charges up, right? So if you use a 50-watt solar panel, like maybe a folding-type solar panel that you can fit in a backpack, uh, I'll show you the one that I have right here. That's my 50-watt panel. It's just like the 100-watt panel, except it's half as tall. It will not fit in a backpack well. Um, however, they do make folding-type 50 watt solar panels or 100 watt solar panels or even 120 watt solar panels. So get the largest folding solar panel that you can find and buy one of these Genesun GV Boost uh, charge controllers. Buy it with the custom voltage 43.2 volts. Buy your wiring and everything and you know buy an extra um, boosted board charge uh, AC adapter cut off the wire. I, you know, you can, you can go back to part one of this video where, where I show how to do all of that stuff. And uh, you'll have yourself an ultra minimal, lightweight, backpackable solar charging solution for your boosted board. Why do you need such a thing? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, would, I would maybe bring one with me to the park. Uh, my son and I like to go use the boosted board at the park quite often and uh, we, we drain the battery 
quite a bit. So maybe while my while my daughter was playing on the playground, I could be charging up the boosted board and we could stay at the park longer, right? I mean, that would be fun. No, I don't think there are any AC outlets at that particular park. Uh, we're at 98% now. This is definitely working. It's so cool. So if you're interested in these solar panels that I've shown, I'll have links down below in the description to the solar panels. I'll have a link to this Watts Up meter and also to a boosted board dual plus, just like this one, down below in the description. If you click on those links, uh, I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but you know, I just get a little kickback and it helps me to um, support the channel and continue making awesome videos like this, doing, doing awesome experiments with solar and EV and all, all that kind of thing. So uh, this is Jesse with Create This. I hope you found this interesting. If you did, hit the like button down below. Leave me a comment if you've got a question or if you noticed something that I didn't notice or if you just want to, you know, shoot the shit, no big deal. Leave me a comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching. And as always, please subscribe.